Well, welcome once again to the TGB show. And today we're going to be looking at the poet John Donne. And John Donne, um, he lived during a very tumultuous time during England's um, Reformation. This is the time of King Henry VIII, and the time in which he breaks away from the, the Roman Catholic Church. And it's a time of, um, time of confusion, a time of turmoil. Um, and John Donne is one of those who um, went from Catholicism to Anglicanism and became one of the great defenders of the Anglican faith during this time. Um, in fact, he was actually connected through his mother to St. Thomas More. So they're all kind of intertwined in the midst of this. Um, but needless to say, um, regardless of that struggle that, that he went through, um, he still remains one of the, the greatest preachers of this particular time um, and one of the greatest poets. And so there is truth, there is some very powerful things um, in his expression of, of poetry. And, and this particular poem is um, entitled Death Be Not Proud. And it is the poet speaking to death and asking that question like, why are you proud? Um, and it's, it's worth meditating on because sometimes, especially during this time in which we encounter so much suffering and so much death, um, and maybe there are loved ones that, that have passed away recently, um, sometimes we can feel the almost all-powerfulness of death, that it seems like there's nothing that is more powerful. And it's important for us to remember that um, death has lost its sting because Jesus Christ has come. And that's the difference that Christianity makes in the world. Without Christ, death has the last laugh. With Christ, everything changes. So without further ado, this is Death Be Not Proud by John Donne. Death. Be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me. From rest and sleep, which but thy pictures be much pleasure, then from thee much more must flow. And soonest our best men with thee do go, rest of their bones and souls delivery. Thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men, and dost with poison, war, and sickness dwell. And poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than thy stroke. Why swellest thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die. May you be blessed.